The explosive statements made by Youth Congress leader Rahul Gandhi they have been revealed by WikiLeaks. That's right, uh, WikiLeaks revealing. Uh, this is of course one for the U.S. diplomatic cables that they leak uh, that Rahul Gandhi did voice fears of Hindu uh, homegrown terror, voicing these fears to U.S. Ambassador Timothy Roma back in 2009, warning him that radicalized Hindu groups in the country pose a bigger threat than Lashkar e Toiba, among others. Telling Roma there, the Ambassador Roma, that these groups are a bigger threat than Lashkar. -e that the Hindu groups create religious tensions and uh, confrontations. In fact, saying that uh, these radicalized groups are, are evolving threats. So the cables also saying, incidentally, that uh, tracking his growth uh, as a politician. Let's get a word from our Deputy Chief of National Bureau, Pallavi Ghosh. She joins us on the phone line from New Delhi. Pallavi, really explosive statements coming from Rahul Gandhi that BJP would be up in arms about this. Well, yeah, certainly, Sini, but the point remains that this is uh, not very surprising coming in from Rahul because on record sometime in October he has said at a press conference that there was really no difference between RSS and Simi. So equating Hindu terror uh, versus uh, the so-called terrorist groups like uh, the Shkwe Toiba is something which is very uh, similar to Rahul's politics. But yes, certainly there is going to be huge uproar over it. Even then the RSS and the BJP had slammed uh, Rahul Gandhi. But interestingly, this is a line of thought which is taken by the Rahul Gandhi Digvijay Singh group within the Congress party. Uh, so yes, but, but one can expect equally strong reactions coming in from an RSS. Even for his comments, they had compared RSS and Simi. There was actually a complaint filed against him in a court. And uh, Pallavi, uh, just to put this in context, of course, this is the time that uh, even Digvijay Singh has just uh, spoken about the Maligao, uh, the probe into the Maligao um, blast as well. Rahul Gandhi, according to these cables, told Ambassador Roma that the risk of a homegrown extremist front reacting to terror attacks coming from Pakistan or from groups in India was a growing concern and one that demanded constant attention. So in some ways, the context, of course, was that wave of attacks we saw uh, back in 08-09. Uh, yeah, but whatever uh, the reason he may be giving for these wave of attacks and whatever th uh, the fact that he may be talking about Hindu terror is certainly not going to go down very well with the RSS. I mean, even recently, Digvijay Singh had gone into a controversy when he had spoken about the fact that Heyman Karkare's family was being threatened because Heyman Karkare was investigating the Malegaon blast. Talking of Hindu terror uh, has always been one section of the Congress Party's politics, and that section, very interestingly, is represented by Digvijay Singh, who is in charge of Uttar Pradesh also considered to be extremely close to Rahul Gandhi. I mean, you know, recently there was this huge controversy when Mr. Chidambaram had spoken of saffron terror. At that point of time, the Congress party had to give in an explanation that mm. terror is not identified with any color. So Hindu terror versus what we call as minority terror or Muslim terror has been a kind of politics which has been played out between the two main political parties. Right, uh, Pallavi, and not just from the BJP, we can also uh, see some strong reactions from within the Congress uh, on this kind of statement. Well, if it's coming from Rahul Gandhi, frankly speaking, no one really is going to speak out against him. In fact, one remembers that even when there was a lot of criticism Rahul was facing post his RSS being similar to Simi comment, the entire party had, of course, backed him. In fact, in the official press conference of the Congress party, too, Rahul Gandhi was completely backed. But yes, it does put the party into a very, uh, into a corner because even over Digvijay Singh's comments of Hindu terror, the party off late right. has been very non-committal. But when it comes to Rahul, it's very difficult for the Congress to be completely silent.